Hello, uh, this is Jack from the Flynn Boom Bros here. As you can see, in case you haven't noticed from the title of the video and the big title screen here, this um, new LP is Pokemon Emerald version. Note that the frame, I acknowledge the fact that the frame rate will be a little bit choppy because of the, well the screen capture software I've got isn't the greatest, but and also, we won't get any sound from the actual game itself, but I'll, I'll have I'll just put some of my own music on, or something like that. Well, I'm, I'm recording this now. I don't even know exactly what I'm gonna do, but you'll be able to hear. It. But it won't just be me talking and the video going on. My name is Birch. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what I can't speed this up. What's what we call a Pokemon? This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us, but despite our close closest, ah, closest, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, 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 many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy or, or so I'm hiding in the dark and you can't identify myself? Obviously I'm a boy? Alright, what's your name? There. Yes, I just told you it is. Ah, okay, your Jacko's moving to my hometown of Littlewood. I get this now. All right, are you ready? Your very adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you to come see me in my Pokemon lab. Ah, I'm shrinking. It's weird, like sometimes they just have random words capitalized in all caps. I have no idea why they do that. It happens quite a lot, but. The box is printed with a Pokemon logo. It's a Pokemon brand moving in delivery service. Oh, here's my mom! Jack, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moon. What? You just dumped me in the truck and driven me all the way here from Johto. Well, this is Little Root Town! How do you like it? This is our new home. It's a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Jack. Let's go inside. I, I'm just glad I didn't do my own name in all caps. Mom! Ah, oh, yeah. See, Jack, isn't it nice in here, too? The movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad, Dad bought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it. Um, because I'm playing on a ROM, clock-based events don't actually occur, but so I won't bother setting the time. But all right, time to set the time. I'm just gonna leave it like that because it's not gonna make a difference anyway. <sighs> Do you like your new room, though? No. Ugh. It's actually quite a big room, you know? I've got my own bed, which is nice. Can't sleep in it though. You, know, you can sleep in other beds, but not this one. Oh, Jack, Jack, we can't come quickly. Look, it's Petal by Jim. Maybe Dad will be on. Interviewer. We brought you this report from in front of Petal by Jim. I'll just I'll stop shouting the. The all caps words. Professor Birch is his. We've got to go and see the. We've got to go and see Professor Bitch. Let's go. Oh, so this is the town I shown briefly. There's a fat. This guy is obscenely. F oh my god! Look when he goes side on. You just like. Oh god, he's fat. Oh my god. A town that can't be shaded any hue except green. Let's go. So we can't. We don't go into Professor Birch's lab. We have to go next door. And yeah. 
Oh, yo, Jack, our new next-door neighbour. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. She's not upstairs. You lied to me. Oh. This room is almost exactly the same as mine. Well, I hope this is a revive. Oh, my God. Ah! It's a trainer. No, it's not. I don't have any Pokemon. Oh. That, that's not catching wild Pokemon. That's you're probably playing this very game on your PC at the moment. Oh. Anyway, what does it say on that clock? Oh, funnily enough, it says the time that's on my clock. Except nothing happens with the clock-based events due to this being on a ROM. So never mind. There won't be any like planting berries or anything, but I don't think that's the best thing to do on an LP anyway. But all right. So now we've got to go up here, and I think there's something going on here. There's scary Pokemon upside. I can hear their cries. I wanted to see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. N neither do I. Ugh. Why am I always wanting to do this? Oh my god. This is what happens when you just walk into tall grass without a Pokemon. Professor Birch is such a poor example. Sorry, I mean Professor Bitch. Alright, so we get to choose our starter Pokemon. Three Pokemon you can choose in Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. You get Trico, who's a grass type, Torchic, a fire type, and Mudkip, easily the best one, a water type. Now, I said Mudkip was the best one, but I picked Mudkip in my last playthrough of the game, so I don't usually use Trico, so I'll go for him. This is easily the hardest battle in the game. Yeah, really difficult. But this is this will be your first battle ever in this game. And it's extremely hard. In case you haven't noticed the sarcasm, this is an easy battle. So I don't think you're having any trouble knocking out this raccoon. Come on. Yes. Yes, I have won my first battle. I'm not going to... I wonder what happens if you even lose that battle anyway. Uh, I am not going to lose on the first battle. Wow, I saved someone just by killing a raccoon. I feel like I've done that with my bare hands. Hi, you're Jack. This is not the place to chat, so come to my Pokemon lab later, okay? Later by later, we mean now. So, Jack, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. I've got Trico now. Are you better do it? You pulled it off with aplomb. I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. That, that will be disgusting. Oh, yeah, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. So now I've got Trigo. Alright, so I need a nickname for Trigo. Um, it needs to be a nickname that he will honour for the rest of his life. And I think I've got the perfect nickname in mind. In honour of my Turtwig from... My Torterra from Pokemon Platinum. The first Pokemon I got on that wasn't on a ROM. Toothpaste. Yeah. Do not even ask why I called my first Pokemon toothpaste. It's just I don't know, it's just something I I just thought it was a good nickname for a turtwig, but well this is named my Trico as well, so Toothpaste What's his nature anyway? Docile. That that doesn't change anything in terms of stats, but 
natures may change, like how, which stats are stronger than others, but you swap kind of basic Trito stats, good special attack, special defense, and speed, which is, well, the speed, increased speed is good for grass types, because n not, not many grass types are fast, and Trito's final evolved form is one of the fastest of all grass types. So, did you see? But anyway, we'd want to go and find this May we battled before. No, we didn't battle. We, um, oh, I intruded her bedroom, but. And funnily enough, there's a town like five meters away from my hometown. This is Old Ale Town, where things start off scarce. So, really, Little Roots and Old Ale might as well be the same town, just joined. But here we have a Pokemon Center, which will be one of the most common places we visit. It's just like, you come here to heal your Pokemon, and basically you'll be coming here all the time later in the game. It's like this in every Pokemon game, so... I always thought the character in this game looked ridiculous, really. Apparently that... It, it, He's wearing like a weird like wool hat or something. It looks like his hair, but his hair's black, as you can see when he's walking the side. Oh my god, it's a wild encounter because going to grass, you may encounter a random Pokemon. I don't really intend to catch anything on this route. So we get is Poochina, who's there, Zigzagoon, who we encountered in the first battle, and I think you can get. There's Wormpool on the f on these routes, which is frankly terrible. But um, uh, I might as well train toothpaste. On this route, you can get Windrail as well, which isn't that that great. So I'm just gonna get some Pokemon later. I'll just focus on Trico at first. I think I'll move my cursor up there. Alright, so now here's May. Hello. Oh my god! I was hoping just to talk to her from the front rather than talking to her backside, because that's just rude. Oh, as I was saying, wind girl. Water and flying type, not particularly good, even when it evolves, so I think I'm going to leave this one. I just want to be healed up so I can battle May. Let's see, the Pokemon found on Route 103 include me! Oh, hi, Jack. Oh, I see. My dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. And so this will be the first of several battles against May. A, she's only just started as well. And coincidentally, she's got the starter that's good against mine. But that doesn't really matter at the moment since uh, neither of us know any moves of our types. So we're just going to be pounding and scratching for the whole battle. Oh god, I might, I might actually lose this one because I'd be damaged at the start. Come on, toothpaste! Oh, crap. I have lost the first trainer battle. Oh. This is a this is a really poor start. Okay, let's try that again, but this time I'll be on full health, so I might actually win. It's just because you got a critical hit as well. In case you didn't know, critical hits um mean the attack does double damage. Occasionally your Pokemon will store a critical hit when it uses its moves. But not that often. Okay, so I'm gonna try battling, battling May again. If you're playing this game, chances are you'll only have to fight May once. You won't be so incompetent as me in getting killed by the first trainer battle. Come on, stupid toothpaste.
Yes! God, that was tough. <laughs> Not really, it was trying. Yeah! 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 Level 6. Absorb my first grass type move. Wouldn't have been any use in this. Oh my god, I leveled up twice. <laughs> that is amazing. Look, I think I'm. I think I'm ding. Gaining it. I'm pointing at the street, it's not gonna help. I don't think I gained any XP from that level. So I've just like leveled up straight to level. Well, I'm, I'm really bad at explaining this. I've exactly leveled up. Oh god, I'm terrible at explaining this. I've leveled up exact with exactly the right amount of XP points. So that is quite awesome. Let me just check Trito's summary. Yeah, that was quite cool. But now I'm gonna go down back to the Pokemon lab to meet Professor Birch. Well, I've already met the dude, but. Right, let's move down, we're moving down to, through the plate. Ugh, I'm not doing so. So we're going here, Little Root Town, back where we started. Can I just check the... I'm playing for 13 minutes now, so, uh... Anyways, uh, I need to go back to the lab. I've never... I have to have... Oh, what am I saying? Professor, Professor Birch gave me the Pokemon in his lab. I was just about to say, Oh, I've never been in the lab before. Oh my god, this is a new experience. Uh, I can be a bit slow sometimes. I heard you read me on your first... I was, you're just teasing me, Professor Birch. Oh... Normally I do beat me on the first try, but this is a bit different. This, it's just because I picked Trico, isn't it? Just to be a bit different. He, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. Alright, the Pokedex means I can check out what stuff, the po what Pokemon I have encountered or taught before. So, at the moment it's just got Trico, Poochane, and Zigzagoon. Well, whirlwind and wind girl. Just like, I've got something for you too. Pokeballs. balls, great. Cause I don't have any balls. Yes, I do. All right, so we got Pokeballs. balls. Why don't we finish this episode off by catching a Pokemon or something? Mind you, I don't. I don't know what to catch. Um. Hey, look, Mom. Did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? What an adorable Pokemon. Trico is not adorable. You must be confused with Mudkip. Oh. You bitch. Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You just found Professor Birch. How nice. You're your father's child, all right? Yeah. Sherlock. Well, I missed that. But hey, Tony, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. I, I don't want to try on some new... Oh. Running shoes. Oh, I can run by... Holding the B button and the computer is X because I'm on the ROM and I'll race through the great outdoors apparently. So I have my own Pokemon now. My father will be overjoyed if anything happens. You can come home. No, I, w I probably won't be coming home for about I don't know until you a lot later in the game when I can be bothered to return home. But now I can run and it might look a bit weird with the sort of choppy frame rate on the screen recorder but I think we better stop here at the end of the episode now um, this episode we've got our first Pokemon next episode I think we'll be moving on hopefully catching a Pokemon or two to add to the team and we'll be moving on to the next area so see you next time on Pokemon Emerald <laughs>